D to D N Y, real world HVAC simplified. And now, in this video, I have a Well McLean commercial steam boiler fitted with a Beckett burner. And this is a commercial burner. And this is a commercial steam boiler and in this trade we call or in this field we like to call this type of burner the shotgun look at it eh? shotgun or flamethrower similar <laughs> right so here's the model of the burner all right and uh so also we have fitted to the Beckett burner a a a, a unwell um, burner control. Now, right now there's an alarm. Okay, and we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot this problem. All right, in this video. But before we get into the video, I want you to um, smash. The bell icon but first you gotta subscribe and then you smash the bell icon so when i upload videos like these you get them right away it's going to be a rather short video because i already did their diagnostics and i figured out what's going on here okay but if you're lucky i'll put this thing back together because it's an intermittent problem it might just fire up you'll see flames and so on and so forth so let's get into it so as you can see from the uh, diagnostic here it says lockout it says lockout 28 pilot flame or uh, whatever you guys could read it's a pilot flame lockout and uh, so basically lockout during the initial ignition sequence so the initial ignition sequence failed no flame no flame okay so here this piece right here is not a standard thing this is a addition to the honorable burner control so if you don't pay for this or purchase this it's going to be only a blank cover here i'm gonna show you see here it's a blank cover it's what's going to be there let me pop this out real quick need both hands yeah that was a little tight right so this piece right here is a Voila, that's a number on it if you want it. It's a keyboard display module. That's what this is. This is a separate piece. You're gonna to have to buy this separately if you need it. More than likely, so what your burner will gonna look like. Your burner control is gonna have this on here. And uh, like so. So we're gonna remove this. There you go. And actually, I think this right here is the model for the burner controller right here perhaps or maybe you have to unscrew it remove this one screw right here there's a screw right here another one over here you remove that take this whole thing off pop it off and you can see the information information in the back this right here is not the burner information this is just the time card timer card it's a 60 seconds timer this particular setup burner is a 60 second timer this is an in, a interchangeable piece and based on the type of setup you have you have a different amount of timer this this thing also uses an this is a gas um gas um powered boiler by the way this can be used on all burners as well so you know look it up all right so let's put this back on as we have demonstrated how do we do it like that all right so I'm gonna go as so also you see here there's like a a, a style like a code been flashed here one two one two one two one two codeless right here and you guys are welcome if you didn't have this no you do pause the video no you do all right so two two 
flame signal absent right there in your face baby all right so what i'm gonna do given that i have this valve closed and i already have my ignition transformer i already have my ignition transformer out now by the way this transformer is these two wires right here is 120 volts going in and this middle piece right here puts out 6 kV, 6,000 volts. Not kidding. Let me turn this around and show you. See the primary? 120. Secondary? 6 kV. Not kidding, guys. This is serious. I'm serious about this. Okay, so the primary right there. 120. Secondary, 6 kV. But it's actually at low hams though. It's 30. That's like 0 0.000003 hams. I don't know if it's going to kill you. Maybe. I wouldn't chance it. <laughs> Alright, so. First thing I would like to do. Well, this is one of the tests that I'll do. To verify that my. Uh, to see what's going on with my ignition system. Because, you know. The burner didn't light, or the, the yeah, the burner didn't light during the ignition. I got no flames. Okay, still there. All right, so let's get into that test. So typically, I would do this. This bit right here, where I'll remove the transformer, would be the last bit. The first thing I would do is set up my manometer. Manometer. I can't. That word always ties my tongue. You see it here, manometer, uh, whatever. So I'll set that up first, and I will check. I'll set it up at the inlet of the burner, so I could check to see if when I'm doing my ignition sequence, if my gas valve is opening up and I'm getting gas going into my burner. All right, so that's the first thing I'll do. Before I go crazy and pull, start pulling stuff apart, I want to make sure I'm getting gas into my furnace or my burner. Um, so that already passed. You guys didn't see it, but I'm already do it. And then the next thing I do is what you see here, because we're testing our ignition system. Also, um, here's a fan under here. Okay, oh, it's closed right now. It's a fan, and this is a, actually an actuator with a damper. It's closed right now because it's off. I'm gonna turn it on. You gotta make sure your fan is running and there's air going into your into your into your burner. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this, not flip the switch. I'm going to go ahead and reset and start the whole thing. Now, one thing you want to note, this is for pros only, not beginners. Well, beginners, you can try this as well, but not do it yourself first. You're going to want to make sure your gas valve is closed hmm, before you do this bit right here, if you're going to do this. I don't know how your setup is going to be, but um, yeah, this piece right here. Obviously comes off of the middle piece. That's where it was on right there And I have my cheaters on there and you know the 6,000 volts comes out from the middle and it's against the ground Right 6,000 volts to ground the electrodes or the igniter Inside your burner is just a metal piece in the middle here and then a piece which is attached to ground comes right here like this middle piece so two, two metal pieces the middle pieces the middle piece connects to this wire which this wire you can see the plug i just unplug this from the mid center piece right here which i currently have my cheaters or my alligator clip or jumpers on and so the middle so this wire goes into the burner and it's a metal piece it's attached to in the middle like that 6000 kv right there in the tip and then a, another piece metal piece comes close to it like a spark plug and which, which is which is connected to ground like right here these screws are grounded to this transformer and so when you send 6000 volts through the middle right here it sparks in between it arcs in between the the ground and the you know the middle piece right here with 6000 kV it sparks like crazy so we're going to test to see if this transform is actually good, it's performing, how it's performing, how much spark it makes, etc. All right, that's what we're gonna do because we fail ignition. So let's go. I'm gonna hit the reset. 
you got questions if you got questions leave it in the comment section so this burner have a 60 second timer remember we saw that when we lift this thing up on the hair it's a second timer so right now I can feel that there's suction there's air going it's getting sucked in but this is not open yet because this is going to be open fully open whenever we are doing you know full main valve open right so when the main valve is open this has to open based on whatever it's calibrated to and right now it's just a little bit cracked because we're just doing ignition not fully open as yet all right so you ready for it because at 60 seconds it's gonna, it's gonna go off lights off I think my transformer is good but also I saw a bit of a spark around this area this is porcelain so I shouldn't see any sparking in this area so it was sparking in this area so it's leaking a little bit of voltage down there eh? yeah so this is gonna go this is gonna be going I'm replacing this transformer for certain it does give me a pretty good spark as you could see like right there it was like burning like crazy over here right you gotta also be careful with this because you know it will give you a nice zap that's why this is for pros not for do-it-yourselfer okay as you can see i hold it right here close to the uh, uh close to the ground and you see the spark so that's basically what goes on in there and with gas ignition so yeah i noticed that it was sparking around here a little bit and you can see where it's black it's kind of black in this area you know it's like leaking through the porcelain a little bit so this transformer we're gonna replace that and what i'm gonna do as well I am going to replace my igniters inside of that boiler, the burner. Yeah, so this and my igniters, we should be good. But before we do that, before I wrap this video up, I'm going to show you guys what my pressures looks like going into my burner, my gas pressures, when I'm doing ignition. Because I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to Put the transform reinstall the transformer and maybe this thing will fire up this time i don't know let's just see stay tuned perhaps i will change that change that wire too i'll replace that wire hmm. leave it in the comment section if you think i should if you're a pro and experience with these things you got pointers you want to share with me maybe you know more than this stuff Maybe you know more about this stuff than I do. You know, I'm an HVAC guy. I am an HVAC guy. That's what I do. I'm not a border specialist. But um, yeah, you can leave in the comment section if you got some ideas about what's going on here. And some pointers. Help out the committee. But you see, until this goes back up here like so. Like that. So I'm in there. And like that. Like so, Boom. two screws, one there, one over there, like that. Whew. Okay, so that's done. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, open up my gas valve, open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and reset this. So that's actually that connection that goes onto the pipe. Um, if you get, if you get um, quarter inch MNPT by Barb, you'll be good to go. So my purge is coming down. It's 60 seconds. So at 60 seconds, I'm gonna go into pilots. At which point I wanna see my gas pressures. And if at that point I see nothing, I see zero, then I notice that you know my valve is a problem. See 
that. 0.8, five volts of flame. The main valve is open. Main gas valve is opening now. See the get it's going up. Oh yeah. So it does work. It works now. Initially, I have flame lockout. So it's an intermittent problem, like I said. Um, and that, that's gonna be the solution, the transformer on the igniter inside because I got good gas pressure, my valves work. Um, gas valve works. Uh, I got airflow, good airflow. I got good flames, good flame signal. This is my flame sensor right here, it's a UV. Ultraviolet. Alright. Yeah, so that's about it for this video guys. Um, that's the diagnostics. Transformer and igniter. Any one of you pros or if you have some other ideas, please share. Don't be bashful. You know, I, I always welcome constructive and good clean comments. I can appreciate that. Alright. So if I shut this down. If I see if I see this while I'm doing ignition, right, then I know that check my gas inlet, check my gas valve. Alright. So oh, first purge. If you're still here, you're special. I want to show you something. Oh, I wanted to show you ignition. Let me reset this. I want to see the do the ignition. I want to see the igniter glows through that viewing hole right there. There's another viewing hole right here too. It's kind of hard to use this camera here because of the wire. So we're going to go over there. So I want to see my igniter sparking. You should be able to see it through that hole. I'm going to leave that valve closed. No gas going through. It won't light up, but it will ignite. It will spark. Let's see. 